Hello again and welcome back to Operations Management. In this session, we're going to be continuing our discussion of process capacity, but now we're going to be applying profitability to the same kind of problems that we've been doing with process capacity. We're going to be continuing with the example of the LRDR laundry company, and let's get started. If you recall, the LRDR Laundry Company provides a commercial laundry service to businesses whose employees wear uniforms. Approximately 10% of all loads are considered heavy loads, the rest are considered normal. A normal load takes 30 minutes in the washer and 80 minutes in the dryer. A heavy load takes 45 minutes in the washer and 140 minutes in the dryer. They have two washers and four dryers. The washers and dryers can run 22 hours a day, seven days a week. The net profit for a heavy load is $5, and the net profit for a regular load is $4. So now we've just added some profit associated with the same process capacity problem. So now with that information, we can determine how much profit can be made in one week using our current situation. If you recall, when we looked at the capacity of the LRDR laundry company, we recognized that the dryer was the bottleneck. That although the washer could accomplish 586.7 loads per week, the dryer could only do 429.8. So the dryer was the bottleneck and that drove the overall effective capacity for the entire process to be only 429.8 loads per week. Now using this information, we can now determine the profitability of the company. We know the overall number of loads is 429.8. 10% of them are heavy loads. So 10% of 429.8 is 42.98. We multiply that by the profit per heavy load of $5, and we know that the profit from heavy loads in a week is $214.90. 90% of the loads are the regular or normal loads, and that turns out to be 386.82 loads. So if we take that number of loads, multiply it by the $4 per regular load, that we earn for the net profit for a regular load, we end up with $1,547.28. So the total profit in one week, the 10% heavy, the 90% regular, totals up to $1,762.18. So that's what they're earning in one week. But now we have to consider which type of load is actually more profitable for the company? Should they be doing more heavy loads? Should they be doing more normal loads? This is where we have to consider a couple of things. First, we have to consider what the net profit per load is. And we already have that information. We're told that the heavy load provides us with a net profit of $5 per load, and the normal load gives us a net profit of $4. But we also need to consider how many loads could be done using the same, uh, the same resources for the LRDR laundry company. How many heavy loads could be done if that was the only thing that they did? Or how many normal loads could be done if that was all that they did? So let's take a look at that. Let's separate it out. Looking at the heavy loads themselves and assuming that we didn't do any normal loads, none whatsoever, we can calculate the number of loads per week that heavy loads could bring us. So the washer says that resource pool, we could do 382.69 loads, but the dryer again is our bottleneck. We could only get 264 heavy loads out in a week. So our maximum loads per week, if the only thing we did was heavy loads, is 264. We multiply that by the profit for the heavy loads, and if the only thing we did was heavy loads, we could earn $1,320. OK, 
Okay, now let's see what would happen if we took a look at the regular loads. Now with a regular load, the washer says we could do 574 loads per week. The dryer again is our bottleneck. Doesn't always have to be that way, but in this case it is. The dryer is the bottleneck, uh, only being able to produce 462 loads. So our maximum loads per week is 462. If we multiply that by the $4 per load, we could earn $1,848 in a week. So let's compare the two. Which type of laundry load is more profitable for the company? Well, if we only did heavy loads, we could earn $1,320. But if we only did regular loads, we could earn $1,848. So although individually heavy loads have a higher net profit, when you think about the capacity, it's being constrained by the capacity of the process, you can actually complete more regular loads and end up with a higher profit. So that's something very important to consider. When you're looking at trying to market your particular organization, or if you're trying to think about the operations as a whole, just the net profit per item is not enough. You also have to consider the capacity. That brings us to the end of the capacity analysis section of operations management, and we'll be moving into inventory next. I'll see you then.